I'm fine on my own. I get the feeling you think I'm over the moon. Well, I wouldn't blame you if you were. And I bet your mother is. She just wants us to be ready to be dads. With me and Adam, he couldn't have kids. For definite. And it was heartbreaking. And the only good thing about him dumping me the way that he did is that I've got a chance to have a family now. And I don't think that fully hit me until today. Thinking that I might be pregnant or feeling a bit thrilled about a little baby. I'm sorry, Vic. No, I know. Cos we have a laugh and the sex is great, but... When it comes to the important stuff, we're a million miles away. Why does it matter? We're having fun and let's not get all heavy because of a near miss, yeah? But who knows what will happen in the future? Come here. I mean, she's got that dead funny bubbly surface. <laughs> I know. She's been through a lot. I think she might still be in love with Adam. You're amazing at saying all the right things. Put the kettle on. I texted your brother the good news. Yeah, shame that. I got me around being an uncle. Uh, don't you dare. <laughs> You'll be all right when you have a kid. You had a dad that loved you. So is Vic celebrating? Well, I don't know about the baby, but she's definitely celebrating not getting saddled with me. Nah, can't be true, that. I spend hours forcing us to talk to each other. She's not that into you. She really likes you. I can tell. <laughs>